everyone. My name is Anna Anders, humbly here at ForGlobalPeace.com. Thank you for tuning in with me today, um, shooting this video, this um, humble home video, YouTube video. So thank you, and um, I just want to say a quick prayer here with you and close out the new year. I don't have much time. I have to go to work in about one at less than an hour, so I was going to shoot the video. Um, and run a couple errands and then get my beautiful self into work. So thank you for joining me here today. And um, on that note, I think I'm going to start with the third step prayer. So thank you. And and that's it. And then I, um, I don't know. I don't want to talk too much. So that's all I want to say humbly. Okay? So the third step prayer is after a moment of silence. God, I offer myself to Thee to build with me and to do with me as Thou wilt. Relieve me of the bondage of sick and suffering self, so that I may better do Thy will. Please take away all my difficulties, so that victory over them all would bear witness to those that I could help. Of Thy power, of Thy love, of Thy way of life, may I do Your will always. Amen, and thanks be to God in the Most Highest. Um, I just want to say thank you. This is more or less a gratitude video. I want to say thank you to my sacred higher power. Um, yeah, because that's the energy of the hour uh, for me and on any given day, 24-7, 365. Um, and so thank you, higher power, creator, and may I uh, continue to do your sacred will and way in my humble days of living here on sacred Mother Earth. Um, I also pray for everyone on the planet, um, and may they be blessed in the same way, most soulfully and spiritually, and um, for everyone everywhere, no exceptions, um, yeah, and may we all come together for the good cause of peace and healing and truth, and to expose the corruption and disruption of human life and human values from local to global always. May we always... Uh, Unite for that great cause. All right. Thank you. Um, what else do I want to say? I want to say thank you not only to my higher power, but I just want to say thank you for the genuine um, people in my life path today that are supporting me with this great cause. Um, and uh, beyond that, that's it. I just need to say thank you to those beautiful people. So thank you. And... Um, Humbly grateful for my humble job, grateful for humble work that can um, help me to carry for globalpeace.com through. So thank you. Uh, thank you, Creator, for providing that job humbly, uh, as you always have provided humble work for me. So I'm grateful for that. Like today, New Year's Eve, and here I, here I go. My boss called yesterday and said, can you work? And I said, yes, I'm not going to say no. So I um, need to do that. Suit up, show up, try not to throw up, and go to work and do my best. So on that note, let me see. You know what? I want to read out of my Faith Is book, and it's a little bit tattered. Um, and let's see how far we are. We are three minutes and 35 seconds into this video. So, and also I'm grateful for all the activists in the world um, who are truly stepping forward. Um, with providing information because I get to feed off of their wisdom, and so I'm so grateful for t I'm so grateful for people that have gone way before me. So I respect that, and um, I've just been humbly trying to ex respect it, but I'll also accept the information that um, has been provided. And so the sifting and sorting through of all this information, disinformation, and misinformation has been very interesting to say the least. And that's it. So, but I'm grateful for all the courage that has gone um, way, 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 way before ForGlobalPeace.com. Thank you. Okay. So, I'm going to read out of the Faith Is book. And, um, wow. Oh, my God. This is so cool. I love it already. Oh, my God. You saw me open this. So, I can't go backwards, guys. Okay. Okay, faith is realizing that I'm useful to God, not in spite of my scars, but because of them. Hi everyone, I'm Anna Anders, humbly here at ForGlobalPeace.com. And I was thinking about a post earlier today that I wrote on Ed Reinerson's uh, post. And I was talking about, because I think he said something about 
being a conspiracy theorist. And I said, I'm not a conspiracy theorist, theor theorist, not. Um, and then I just said, because my parents taught me to tell the truth from being a child up. Otherwise, if we didn't, you know, we got into being little rascals, the five Figaro kids, um, we get our asses beat. That's the only way I could put it to you. Um, and so, and sometimes it was justified, but there was a lot that was not justified. And so, we're opening this book up to the scars because, hey, I've come pretty far this journey of, uh, I don't know how many miles I've come from, uh, picking myself up off the floor of my life and then um, discovering, hey, I'm not your wife to, for you to beat on. You know what I'm saying? I'm not your battered wife for you to beat on at 7011 Virginia Avenue. And if I have to say no for myself, then I have to t teach my children to say no too, to corrupt relationships and relationships too. So I've had to be that better example. And um, hasn't been so easy, you guys, but... Uh, you know, God doesn't give us any more than we can handle. That's all I can say. I'm going to stop because otherwise I'll turn this into a whole rant that you're not going to want to hear about. So that's that. I want to open this next book. Let me see how many minutes we are into this. Six minutes into this video. 1001 Meditation Reading. And I'm opening to the wide, wider world connecting with nature. Wow. And I'm just going to go with um, these two here because I like what I see already. Okay. Um, and we're talking about faith in nature and earth energy. Faith in nature. The earth and all its trees, plants, feel loved by our touch and by our gaze. Let us not betray this love. Let us stay true and tuned to our faith in nature. Hi everyone, I'm Anna Anders, humbly here at ForGlobalPeace.com. And I have to say, it snowed in Flagstaff. And I'm so happy about that. I mean, and so grateful because today I have a humble home. It's clean, it's cozy, you know, and I get to look out at the beautiful snowfall. And that makes me feel so good inside. And to tell you the truth, I think it's uh, actually natural snow and not the harp stuff. Because I grabbed a clump of it, like a snowball, and it started melting in my hand. So that made me feel good. And so this reading makes me feel good. And I so hope that nature makes you feel good too. Alright, thank you. Alright. Next is Earth Energy, okay? So let's see what that's about. Earth Energy. Collect a handful of pebbles in your hand and lightly play with them. Feel their smoothness and listen to the sound that they make as they click against each other. Imagine the Earth they, imagine the earth they have been lying in for so many years. Tap into the vast powers that created our plant, planet. Tap into the vast powers that created our planet. I'm going to go ahead and read the third one down. Okay. Embrace the earth. This is an enjoyable way to connect with the earth as a living entity. Lie face down on a patch of grass or on the ground anywhere you want to lay with your arms outstretched as though embracing the earth. Appreciate its support as it holds your body safe and secure. Tune in to the vibrations of energy that pulse through the soil, connecting you in a bond of sacred love with Mother Earth. Amen, and thanks be to God in the Most Highest for Sacred Mother Earth. I'm humbly Anna Anders here at ForGlobalPeace.com today. I do not um, have much time here, so and something is dragging me back here again. I have to go to this book right here. I don't know why, but I'm going to do it. December 31st. New Year's Eve, and I'm reading out of a Cherokee Feast of Day meditation book. Okay, and I want to kind of get into the camera here where you can see me, but i got to throw on my glasses again. Okay. Okay, so. The woods have been a place of enchantment, a world of lazy pattern, of lacy patterns and mysterious stillness. The snow and ice-covered limbs of huge oaks form intricate patterns against the sky, and ribbon lace while... White on white lies across the frozen pond like a tiered rustling. It is, o it is the only time of the year when the white bark of the stark cottonwood blends with the landscape and the bright red cardinal becomes a striking contrast. Nature's patterns are etched in ice and in us too. There are places within us that are as soft as silk, sea lee gee, and polished as silver, adult. Nege, Negu, 
we have designs in our souls, varied in color, solitaire, solitarily enlivened with warmth and love, uh, and beauty we often view as illusionary. But sometimes it is the illusion that is most real. You promised us that the weather would be clear and that your children should have so much silver that when they looked at each other, they would look as bright as the rising sun. And this was written by an Ottawa chief. And it sounds like he has some uh, embellishment there of uh, the corruptness that happened, the broken promises and broken uh, promises that the government made. So, but I'm going to lay the book down now and open to the last book. We are 10 minutes and 47 seconds into this video. Um, I want to do a video tomorrow, a full, full-fledged full video of prayer and meditation tomorrow. But for a little New Year's Eve uh this is a little tidbit of thank you. So thank you so much um, for uh, for the whole year, higher power. Thank you so, 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 so very much. Amen and thank you. And God bless everyone else that has, uh, I don't know, that's brought me, um, that's brought me lots of happiness. And I also want to say thank you for lots of growth and strength and abundance that's happened this year and challenges that I've had to, spiritually speaking. All right, so that's it. Opening to whew, Talking Stick. I like this one. This is so cool. Talking Stick, which is the viewpoints and options. Talking Stick. Let me put it up here closer so you can see it, okay? Talking Stick remind me of each sacred point of view, complete within the circle of the sacred hoop. I just recently talked about starting a talking circle here at forglobalpeace.com. Um, I would love to do that, and I don't know if that can manifest, but I want to get a meeting together, a spiritual meeting, on a regular basis, because I need all the spiritual mojo I can get, and other people too, I'm sure, so, um, and that's how I get my spiritual mojo from other people, and higher power and creator, so thank you so much. Going back to the, the application of the talking stick. The talking stick reminds us of the validity of others' viewpoints and teaches us how to listen and apply what we hear. We are being reminded not to interrupt others who are imparting their wisdom. We are taught through listening that life has millions of options and answers to any dilemma. Amen and thanks be to God in the Most Highest. If the talking stick has appeared in your spread, you are probably not allowing yourself any options in your present situation or have become too stuck on one idea to see any further than your, than your self-created tunnel. Open up and listen to the opportunities that the talking stick says that are coming your way. Remember all life signals and or options are available to those who will listen. You are being given an opportunity to grow through an alternative route. Use this gift now. Amen and thanks be to God in the most highest. I don't know what it is, but um, I pray that I'm open uh, to receiving the alternative route. And uh, yeah, I'm just being humbly willing and right-sized to, to do all that. And I pray that you do the same too if you have any challenges that are coming up for you in the new year. Okay, amen, and thanks be to God in the most highest. I'm humbly Anna Anders here at ForGlobalPeace.com. This minute is like 13 minutes long. This video is 13 minutes long, so I'm going to just shut it down and say thank you for tuning in today, and um, may you have a beautiful New Year. I pray that you have all your New Year's wishes and desires. Um, I pray that they catch on fire for you completely, all right, for the whole 365 days. All right, have a great day, everybody. I'm going to shut off this video. I'm Annie Anders here at ForGlobalPeace.com. Thank you.